hello putting my seat belt on day 17 of the 16 day intense jump start so um where are we at yeah day seven i don't know what it is i should be able to get these days right by now but um i have my banana i had a yogurt with almond I mean, almonds, and then what did I have for, for lunch? I actually had eggs, uh, our chicken sausage, and um, a cup of coffee, and uh, what was it? A cup of coffee. I had something else. I don't know, something else, but um, I would say it was a so so day. I feel good. Um, when I get home, I am eating a very large salad because it just, I just feel like I need some greens. Um, as far as fitness is concerned, meaning the workout that I've done today, I did not go for my walk this morning, but I will be. As long as it's not, oh my God, you guys have got to see this. The most prettiest rainbow. Hold on, let me see. I don't know if I can catch it for you guys. I really shouldn't be doing that, but anyway. I just want you guys to see that. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. So, anywho, um, I'm putting my phone back because I'm not supposed to be on the phone. Fitness. What am I doing for fitness today? If it stops raining, I will go walk. If it doesn't stop raining, then I'll do um, a dance uh, routine or some type of fitness routine at the house. But I will be working out. There is no such thing as Donnie not working out. You're not going to have to got to do it got to do it got to get my workout on but I will tell you this um I am more inclined to definitely get my walks in in the morning because it's kind of frustrating trying to do this stuff in the evening after I've been out all day and um I would just I, I just I just feel better when I start the day that way so this is day seven no great revelations or anything eating healthy um oh my water i gotta get my water in i think i've only had maybe a half a gallon of water and i do know that i also feel a lot better when i drink a ton a ton a ton of water so i definitely need to do that once again since i am sharing my journey i would love it if you shared your journey and anything you're going through right now or any goal that you got yours might not be weight like mine's if you watch my content you know my whole thing is health and wealth so getting healthier and building my company so that we come we, we become wealthier and when i say building my company it's my tree services my tree service my podcast my radio show uh my books and my speaking um but my primary focus which is my cash cow is um the tree service so sometimes you have to keep the main thing the main thing and if you do that and you take care of it it makes room for other things to come into place for example a lot of the opportunities that I have with my, my show came from the tree service or people that I met during tree care. And so I try to make sure of, oh, why did I do that? I take care of what has been taking care of me. Sorry about my thumbs uh, flipping with things upside down. So, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but make sure you're getting your vitamins. I need to make sure you guys are getting your vitamin D3, uh, vitamin C, some liquid minerals, um, I do take a thyroid supplement. Um, I do not have Hashimoto's or anything like that, but a few years ago when I went to Progressive, they said I was borderline. So I've just been very sensitive about that. And that's also one of the reasons why I try to eat super healthy because I've I've seen people say, oh, you know, the reason why I'm overweight is my thyroid or whatever. I'm gonna be sensitive to those people and say, I understand, and that may be the case. But the other reason could be what you put in your mouth. So just saying so if you already have an out of whack thyroid and then you put crappy food in your body not a good combination so um, and I think it does make it a little more challenging to lose weight when you have issues with your thyroid but it's not impossible it just might be more challenging but not impossible and um, I was actually looking at some pictures the other day and I know this one is rambling I was looking at some pictures the other day that are recent pictures and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because even I'm noticing that I'm looking leaner, even though the other day I was complaining that the scale went up. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because I was having a weak moment the other day, all frustrated because the scale, 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 scale. 
but I was still conscious enough and aware enough to go, you know what? I am making progress and I'm not going to go sabotage myself because the scale didn't move because there's so many other factors. But that doesn't mean that you should be going up, 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 up. It just means that, you know, sometimes things will level out or you go up a little bit or down only a little bit, but you cannot let that be your only marker. You got to think about your health. You got to think about fitness. You got to think about your cardio, all those, all those things. So um, that's enough for day seven. And um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Alrighty, bye-bye.